Esoteric Easter. That is the title for this podcast. Esoteric Easter. Now on this podcast we have on the left the egg with a serpent around it with a lotus flower above it. Now most of you know during Easter people enjoy the Easter egg and so the symbolic meaning of this egg is basically simple when the shell breaks we have a new being or a new chick that comes out of it and so this is teaching us during this period when the sun is giving off a new energy the soul is supposed to take advantage of this energy and give birth anew to himself. So we come out of our old shell, so to speak. So there's no point in enjoying all the Easter eggs and not understand the full meaning of it and sometimes we have the rabbit also shown during Easter because it is a time of sex and giving birth some people take this to be a time of orgies you know a time you can go around having all the sex in the world but when you look at the um, the serpent it is telling you this is a tantric sex for those who are masters of this type of stuff. Tantra is the raising of the Kundalini energy or the Kundalini force, the serpentine energy in all of us to boost our development so we can hatch and become a new creature on the earth. Now on the right you have that which is known as the Star of David, which you have the sun behind it. In Genesis you are told when God wanted to make man In their image created man, which is the soul, male and female. And so when you have these two pyramids or triangles interlacing one another, it is telling you the energy of the sun, which is being drawn from the higher heavens or the supreme light, is male and female. On the inside, we are all male and female. And so when I tell you we get our souls from the sun and our soul is male and female, that's what the Star of David really means. It is a symbol that involves all of us because we are all spirits. Essentially, and none of us can change that, which is why you are told that which God has put together, no man can change it. Remember, when they said, For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother's house and cling on to his wife, the house is our physical body. When we leave, we are complete. It's male and female that no man can separate. It is your essence. And so we all return back to the spirit world, male and female. 
balance because Isis and Osiris gave birth to Horus or Heru which is our soul, the sun in us. This is very important. And so when you are told in 1 Corinthians 15 and 50, I declare to you, brothers and sisters, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor can the perishable inherit the imperishable, which means none of us are going to take our physical body into space. If we could do that, the astronauts will not wear spacesuits to go to space. There is no oxygen there for you to breathe. And so, if it is written in the Bible that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, then how did we end up with saying that a man called Jesus took his body from earth into space without a spacesuit? Remember, you have just been told the flesh cannot exist in the kingdom of God. Now, you will think Jesus will have to lead by example. So, he's not going to take his physical body from earth into space when it is against the law of creation. Otherwise, he would have had to descend into the earth with his physical body and not have to go through the womb but the creation laws forbids anyone descending in a physical body from heaven to earth nor can we ascend with our physical body into space or to heaven and so when we need a physical body we all have to come through a womb and so Esau had to come first before Jacob because we need a physical body as a vehicle for us to exist on this planet called Earth, which is Malkut or Malkuf on a tree of life. And so I hope you understand. The reason why people wear new clothes to churches during Easter because it symbolizes you becoming a new entity. So when you read the Bible and you're told, Jesus telling Nicodemus, flesh gives birth to flesh. Yes, we all have sex and we give birth to physical creatures on this planet. That has nothing to do with God. That is just a play of life. But spirit also gives birth to spirit. Which means before we can leave this place, our spirits have to give birth to our spiritual self. That is a task of the soul. Therefore, one must think very carefully when they suggest that a man took his physical body into space. Because a lot of this stuff has been given to us by the Catholic Church. The real Son of God is the one we see every day on his throne in the heavens.